It's a problem state officials say is growing at an alarming rate. It, it's, a, it's a new problem. Uh, we, it's a problem we did not have 10 years ago. Well, the state is seeing an influx of workers at nail salons who don't have licenses or offer services that are against the law. So to find out which salons are breaking the law, the WDSU I team went undercover to see who is putting you at risk. New at 5, WDSU anchor Randy Russo takes a look at how nail salons are breaking the law and what you can do to avoid becoming a victim. Marilyn Hopkins has spent 30 years polishing her skills as a manicurist. You just got to know what you're doing. You got to be trained, just like a hairdresser, just like a doctor. You know, you wouldn't want a surgeon, you know, not going to school and say, oh, I can operate. While Hopkins went to school and has a license to do nails, the state is seeing a spike in the number of people without the proper certification, something Hopkins says can be dangerous. It could be dangerous. You can hurt somebody if you cut them. If they're diabetic, that's bad. You know, you just gotta, you gotta know what you're doing. Operating without a license is now the number one violation reviewed by the Louisiana Board of Cosmetology. It's a, it's a new problem. Uh, we, it's a problem we did not have 10 years ago. Executive Director Steve Young says the board sees two recurring concerns people doing the work without a license at all and practicing with a certificate that turns out to be a fake. We have fraud uh, in, in license, fraud in, uh, in graduation from high schools, or fraud from graduations from uh, cosmetology schools, or just the idea of using someone else's license or no license at all. In Louisiana, manicurists must go to school, complete a national standards test, and get hands-on training. Once a person gets a license, it must be posted in the salon along with a picture ID. It needs to be buyer beware because when you go into a salon or a shop, first thing you should do is look for the licensure of that shop. And there's another infraction raising eyebrows, waxing in nail salons. If your manicurist and spa has a cosmetology license, then waxing is legal, no problem. But that's often not the case. At smaller, basic nail salons where the practitioner only has a manicurist license, waxing is against the law. So if they're going into a manicurist shop to have waxing or, or eyelashes or anything else done, uh, they're helping the person break the law. It didn't take long for the WDSUI team to find a problem. Morning. Here at this Lakeview salon, we found waxing services being offered. How much is your waxing? Uh, do you want an eye out? Um, do you do lip? Yeah. yeah. $7 for lip, and how much is the eye? Um, $9. $9. $9. $9. $9. $9. But when we checked for the license, according to the state, there is none. The woman doing the pedicure also used a grater to shave the skin off the feet. Young says blades are prohibited now at nail salons and can lead to serious health problems if used the wrong way. Staph infections, any, any type of uh, anything from AIDS to uh, uh, just any, anything, anything you can catch with an open wound. Uh, in an unsanitized place. I mean, it's there. Something uh, that Marilyn does, though, she uses a sander like this in order to scrape the dead skin off. And every time a customer comes by and she finishes with that customer, she actually removes this part of the sander to ensure that it's sanitary for the next customer. Young says there are 7,500 salons, spas, or shops offering similar services across the state of Louisiana. The board uses 11 inspectors to check the businesses at least twice a year. But he says it can be a tough task making sure everyone follows the rules. I mean, it could be the next hour after the inspector leaves that someone's back in there without a license working. Uh, but we do our very best to stop that. That's why Young says it's up to customers to help. Most investigations begin when someone files a written complaint with the board. Our citizens are our, our, our eyes and ears. Uh, we, we can't be everywhere. So we have to rely on folks to tell us what they see and we'll correct it. As for Marilyn Hopkins, she says waxing or any other cosmetology profession isn't in her future. She plans on sticking with what she knows, nails, what she was taught.
Now, for a first offense, a person will receive a fine, and if they're licensed to practice, they'll be placed on probation. For a second offense, a license is revoked, meaning they can no longer have that business open in the state of Louisiana. Scott, Adriana. All right, Randy, thanks. The state says it's getting about two dozen legitimate complaints each month from people claiming a salon is not properly licensed. So if you believe you're getting illegal services at a nail salon or that your manicurist is not properly licensed, you can file a written complaint with the Louisiana Board of Cosmetology. We do have their contact information on our website at WDSU.com.